So we're going to have a slightly different approach to how we continue the rest of the Gabion Walpini walls. What's going on, everyone? I'm Brandon, and this is the Greening the Desert Project. So since I've had the trailer hooked up with the quad and, you know, going down the hill every night and coming back up, we've been starting to bring up some of our stuff. So we've been bringing up, you know, the straw bales as well as compost and our ferments. And, you know, we're bringing up a lot of the stuff that we know we'll need for the gardening. And then once it starts, you know, getting a bit warmer up here, then we're going to start getting our area ready so that we have a spot that we can camp out at. All right, we got the quad situated with the trailer. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more fun, I think, driving around the property, collecting the rocks now. A slightly different approach to how we stack the rocks this time. It'll seem a little bit quicker if uh, we stack all the inside stuff and then we'll kind of slowly build up our levels from there. starting to rain pretty good so we got to be done for the day so we spent this last week pretty much going back and forth with the trailer with bringing stuff up so we've gathered a lot of the nice rock with all the lichen and we've gathered at least a little bit more of the plain rocks so we're gonna do my least favorite thing here which is tying the rest of these baskets together so i'm gonna cut out the rest of the wire Got all of them cut and bent, but now I still have to tie them to the baskets. <laughs>
And while I am finishing up all of the tying, Nika was busy setting up the cooling tube for the other room and getting all the rocks stacked and situated so that she can mud it. Special shout out to our Green Guardian members, Alisa, Cal, and Sam Off Grid. Really appreciate your guys' support in this Greening the Desert project. And I gotta give a special shout out to my dad, because it was actually his idea for getting us the boots. So, appreciate that very much. <laughs> so we're coming up to a pretty essential part of this build, and it's gonna be kind of exciting to have to change up just a little bit, but we have got some tree branch hunting to do. So we'll be in need of some nice straight branches. Hopefully we won't have to cut any big trees or whole trees altogether. And we actually have the idea that we do want to do a lot of maintenance to a lot of the trees here and trimming up a lot of the lower branches to allow more light underneath. It will be exciting to start some proper maintenance on this landscape. So we've got this tree right behind us and because this is just a little bit smaller tree amongst you know all these bigger trees here you know it just makes a little more sense to help clear the area and it's got a nice straight post that we can use so So we're at a stopping point actually with stacking the rocks just for now at least because I got to take some measurements with our posts here and it's going to get super interesting and I got to break out the woodworking tools. <laughs> 